One company that makes and designs some of these high-tech balloons is Raven Industries. I had a chance to tour Raven and learn about their history. Raven was uh, founded in 1956. Uh, four engineers came out of General Mills and it was founded to do scientific ballooning, high altitude balloons. And in doing that, Ed Yost, uh, one of the four principals, uh, kind of developed the modern hot air balloon and uh, became a big part of Raven. Over the years, they have moved from hot air balloons and scientific balloons to focus on longer lasting balloons. And we've really advanced our balloon technology to super pressure balloons that now last uh, much longer than 100 days. And, we can control their altitude. These balloons are being used for the Google Loon Project. The Loon Project will use a series of balloons that will act like moving cell towers. The goal is to provide internet service to remote parts of the world. There's billions of people in the world without internet connectivity, and so we're really hoping to change their lives. The Loon balloons are manufactured in Sioux Falls, and we took a tour and learned about the production process. We build uh, super pressure balloons up to uh, eight, over 18 million cubic feet over 500 feet long, but the processes are all the same. It's using a custom polyethylene blend, heat sealing techniques, and special materials to make the balloon come together. Raven is a market leader in balloon production, and they are hoping to continue to expand. I'd humbly say we're best in class, and we're really trying to build upon that. It's expand our engineering, it's send our designs and our materials to develop the next generations of balloons. So we really see an exciting future for balloons. Earlier this afternoon, we saw an unmanned balloon launch right from this facility. The balloon was launched by a group of college students from Montana. Balloons like this one will be used to capture the total solar eclipse coming up on August 21st. The Montana students developed equipment that will live stream from the balloons to the NASA website on Eclipse Day. Dozens of universities across the country will also be launching balloons to capture the eclipse. The students um, at Montana State have been able to design and build all of the different payloads that all the teams are going to use and all of the other teams get to have that experience of practicing and tweaking with the different technology that's being used which is really very interesting and amazing experience for them going into the workforce.